What's up, guys? So yesterday you saw my little preview to why we make the excuses day in and day out, you know? Today is January 3rd, but I'll be posting this on January 4th, which what sparked me with this topic is a lot of people I've seen online have been posting memes saying January 4th is actually the start of the new year. Let me eat all of my junk food today, and then tomorrow I will start my diet. Tomorrow I will start eating healthy. You're setting yourself up for failure. <sighs> so many people are making excuses year in and year out. Last year, your New Year's resolution was probably, I pretty much guarantee, was probably the same New Year's resolution that you made this year, right? You know I'm right. You know damn well that I am right on that. And you have to really dig deep. Why are the New Year's resolutions the same year in and year out? You're not getting to the root cause of why we're making the excuses, why we feel like we aren't good enough to make these desires that we have into reality. I am so sick and tired of people making excuses for themselves as to why they can't attain that physique, that right mindset, that healthy lifestyle. I am so sick and tired of it. And you know why? Deep down, I want people to realize that they are capable of so much more, that you can achieve these goals, all these desires that you have to fit in that outfit that you've had hung up in your closet for two years, three years. So stop doubting yourself. Stop limiting yourself to what you are fucking capable of. So many people talk the talk. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to join this gym. I'm going to start buying all these veggies. I'm going to start eating a lot leaner, a lot cleaner. But what happens at the end of January? People fall off the bandwagon because their intentions aren't right. Your intentions don't align with what you truly desire. Some people just face it, don't want to change. And what does that do? What is that doing to you? It's just digging yourself a deeper hole. It's lowering your self-esteem, lowering your self-worth. You're just hurting yourself more and more. You need to fall back in love with yourself. You need to fall back into creating intentions, positive intentions. This is why I say it's progress and not perfection. Because you can't expect you to change completely. Like, yeah, it's a new year. But you can't expect to change in a week. Start small. Start by walking 30 minutes a day or 10 minutes a day and gradually increase it. Start drinking more water if you're not a water drinker. You drink a lot of soda. Increase the water intake day by day. Decrease the soda intake or caffeine or tea, whatever it is. Implement a healthier meal twice a week. And then, and then escalate it to three times a week, four times a week. Where it becomes a lifestyle instead of you thinking it's, oh, I have to eat healthy. If you want to wear that dress, if you want to feel better about yourself, you want to be able to run a mile without feeling like you're going to fall over and faint. You have to realize that it is a process. It is not going to happen overnight. So get that out of your head. So you may ask yourself, 
Yesenia, where do I even begin? Where do I start? Start with writing down your intentions, what your goals are for you, and then work at it every single day. Work at it every single day. Last year, or now almost two years ago, I wasn't where I wanted to be physically. You know, I was in a toxic relationship where I drank a lot because he drank a lot. So I was allowing myself to stoop down to his level. And what did that do to me? It hurt me mentally, physically, and spiritually. It hurt me in all aspects of myself because that's not truly what I wanted. I was just going along with it. And I know damn well, a lot of you do the same thing. So right there, that shows you that you have to pick your heard wisely, surround yourself with positive people who want the same goals as you, the same desires as you, the same outcomes as you. And negative self-talk is another thing. A lot of people are negative when it comes to your own self. You look in the mirror and you're like, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm worthless, no one's going to love me, I don't even love myself, I don't even accept myself. Turn that around each and every day, you guys. Look in the mirror Say, I, I know I have to work on you, and I will. I promise you that every single day, little by little. So pick your pact wisely, your herd wisely. And if you don't have anyone, you have yourself. Because at the end of the day, you only have yourself to hold yourself accountable. To hold yourself accountable with what desires and goals that you want ultimately for you. I hope that you found this video helpful. Again, stop making excuses for yourself. Stop limiting yourself. Knock it the hell off. Get the ball rolling for 2021. I have a six week program, a body changer program that will get you ready for spring and ready for summer. So if you're interested, DM me. Let's get it. You got this. Believe in yourself. You are worthy of change, positive change. You are worth it. Let's get started. 2021 is your year, babe.